Welcome to our lecture online and in this next example on enthalpy we're going to take a look at a gaseous fuel that's actually a mixture of two different things. It's going to be a mixture of what we call protein and butane. Propane is what we tend to cook with, we put that stuff in the canisters, we cook with it, barbecue with it, and butane is what we put in our cigarette lighters and yes it is a gaseous material if it's not under pressure inside a like a, a cigarette lighter. Uh, it tends to be under pressure and it turns into a liquid, but as soon as, it evap as soon as it's open to the atmosphere, it will actually turn into a gas. So, the question then is, if it's a mixture, and the mixture is, let's say, 62% uh, of the propane and 38% of the butane, what is the enthalpy for a mixed solution like that? So what we're going to do is calculate the enthalpy for each type, we're starting with protein, propane, and then we'll go to butane, uh, butane and then we we'll multiply each result with the respective percentage of that fuel present in the mixture. And you'll see how that works. Again, the idea is if we're trying to calculate the enthalpy, the change in the enthalpy of a reaction is always going to be equal to the delta H of the products minus the delta H of the reactants. Okay, starting with the products, notice that this is a molar quantity, one mole of, of a propane, five moles of oxygen, three moles of carbon dioxide, and four moles of water. So starting with the reactants, we have three moles of carbon dioxide, we come over here, we notice the enthalpy change for the formation of carbon dioxide is a minus, minus 393.5 kilojoules per mole, which means when you produce carbon dioxide, it releases that amount of energy. So we have uh, minus, so that would be equal to minus, um, actually, let me put the multiplication factor in there, since we have three moles, it's three times minus 393.5 kilojoules per mole. And uh, then we add to that four times the formation of water, and for water it's minus 285, minus 285.8 kilojoules um, per mole. And that would be the total enthalpy change for the um, for the products, and let me put a square bracket here, like that. All right, so now from that we subtract the enthalpy change of the reactants. And so we start with propane, we go to propane right here, and there we go, it's a minus 103.8, but we're subtracting it, so the negative will cancel out the negative, and we'll get 103.8 kilojoules per mole. Notice that in this reaction there's only one mole of that, plus oxygen, but since oxygen is in its base state, it does not produce any enthalpy, so plus or no heat release, so plus zero. And that would then be the total for this molar reaction, for the reaction the way we have it up there. So now we need a calculator. Of course, we need one more thing. Um, because we don't, the whole solution, or I shouldn't say the whole solution, the whole uh, mixture is only 62% propane. So we have to take this whole thing and multiply it times 62% times 0 0.62 because then we have the actual amount for the portion of the mixture that is propane. So this is equal to that. So let's work out what this is equal to. So we have a 393.5 times 3 and put a minus in front because it's negative, gives off heat. Then we have uh, minus 4 times 285.8 and then we add to that 103.8 plus 103.8 equals, so that means this is equal to 0 0.62 times a minus 2,238.6 joules, or I should say kilojoules per mole. And of course, when we multiply the times 0 0.62, we get minus 1,300 and, hmm, I better try that again because I think I'm having a little mistake here on my calculator. Let's try it again. Ah, that's better. It's not this number here. We actually get 2,219.9 kilojoules. Now we multiply the times. 0.62 equals and minus 1,376.3 kilojoules per mole. So, in this mixture, for the portion that is propane, this is the amount of heat released per 
mole of the reactant, or I should say of the product. Nope, oh, reactant, oh, there we go. Next, now we take the next item in the mixture, which is butane. Here's the equation, the reaction for butane. So again, the delta H is equal to the delta H of the product minus the delta H of the reactants. All right, let's add up what all the products are. We have four moles of carbon dioxide. Again, carbon dioxide releases this much per mole, minus 393.5 kilojoules. So we have four moles times minus 393.5 kilojoules per mole. So that's the amount of enthalpy change due to the formation of carbon dioxide, four moles of that. So plus five times forming five moles of water, which is minus 285.8 kilojoules per mole. So now we have the amount of heat released because of the formation of the products. From that, we're going to subtract the amount of heat released when we form the uh, reactants. Of course, the reactants are already there, and so therefore we subtract whatever the number we get. And in this case, we have one mole of, here we are, of butane, and butane releases this much upon formation, so it's minus 125.6 kilojoules per mole. And then minus, or plus, we can say plus, doesn't matter, because, of course, oxygen is in its base state, in a natural state, so we have zero for the formation of oxygen. So that's the whole amount of heat released. And then, of course, we have to multiply times the percentage of butane in the mixture, which is 0 0.38, multiply them 0 0.38, and so this is 0 0.38 times, we get 393.5 times 4, put a minus in front of that, and then we subtract from that 5 times 285.8, and then we add, because a negative times a negative gives us a positive, we add 125.6, and so this is 38% of minus 2,877.4 kilojoules per mole. So the amount of heat released would be this much if 100% of the mixture was butane, but since it's only 38%, we have to multiply times 0.38. And so we get this is equal to minus 1,093.4 oh, kilojoules per mole. So now we have this much heat re released because of the formation of the propane in the mixture, and this much heat released because of the um, portion of the mixture that is butane, if we now add them together, so delta H total is going to be equal to, right here, the minus 1,376.3 kilojoules per mole, plus another minus 1,093.4 kilojoules per mole. So in the end, for the whole mixture together, put those two together, what do we get? We have 1376.3 plus 1093.4. Of course, they're both negative. So for a total of minus 2,469.7 kilojoules per mole. So for the reaction of one mole of the mixture, where we have 62% propane and 38% butane, it releases a total of 2,469.7 kilojoules. And that's how you do that.